আউজু বিল্লাহমিনশন রজিম বিসমিল্লাহমান রহিম হ্যালো মাই ডার স্টুডেন্টস অ্যান্ড অনবল ভিউয়ার্স অল অফ ইউ আর মোস্ট ওয়েলকাম টু মাই অনলাইন ক্লাস অ্যারেঞ্জ বাই দ্য কান্ট্রি ফেমাস এডুকেশনাল ইনস্টিটিউশন এ কে স্কুল অ্যান্ড কলেজ আইড লাইক টু স্পেশাল গিভ থ্যাঙ্কস টু দ্য অল দ্য বডিজ হু আর রিয়েলি এঙ্গেজ ইন দিস গ্রেট ওয়ার্ডস ফর দ্য বেটারমেন্ট অফ দ্য স্টুডেন্টস টুডে আই উড লাইক টু টেক এ ক্লাস on passage narration you are familiar with this topics at the jsc level and it is also prescribed for the ssc level as well i am mohammad sanullah assistant english teacher ak school and college new branch day shift I hope all you are healthy and hearty and safe and sound and you are staying at your home maintaining social distancing and I think you are also going through your studies or in your topics you should not remain out of your home you should stay at your home and just go through your studies so no more extension today let's get started so at first I would like to say what is narration narration when the speech of the person or the persons is reported to others it is called narration narration is of two types the first one is direct narration and the second one is indirect narration and direct narration you will find two parts the first one is reporting verb out of inverted comma and then you will get reported speech it is also in the inverted comma and the in indirect speech it is there is no inverted comma or comma you will just only find full stop at the end of the sentence so what is direct narration when the speech of the speaker is reported without changing his quotation it is called direct narration suppose he said to me i was ill yesterday and the indirect speech when the speech of the speaker is reported without quoting his actual words it is called indirect narration suppose he told me that he had been ill the previous day when to change the tense of reported speech there is a condition only when the reporting verb is only in the past tense that means said or said to and when the reported speech is not universal truth habitual fact or the proverb then you then you can change direct narration to indirect narration and you can see also the tense of the sentence the reported the first person of the reported speech follows the subject of the reporting verb the second person of the reported speech follows object of the reporting verb and the third person of the reported speech remains unchanged that means you cannot change the third person words changed into indirect speech if you find this words in direct speech you can change it into indirect speech this will be that this will be those here will be there hence will be then hither will be there thus will be so come will be go ago will be before now will be then direct speech if you find today it will be that day tonight will be that night yesterday will be the previous day tomorrow will be the next day or the following day the next day will be the following day the last plus time word suppose the last month the last week it will be the previous month or the previous week and if you find the next plus time word suppose the next month the next year it will be the following month or the following year if you find the day before yesterday it will be two days back or two days before the day after tomorrow will be in two days time you have to change you should keep in mind that you can only change the six tenses or rather the rest of the six tense, uh, tenses will not be changed which tenses can we change present indefinite it will be past indefinite suppose play will be played present continuous will be past continuous suppose is playing will be was playing 
present perfect has played will be past perfect present perfect continuous will be past perfect continuous suppose it has been playing will be had been playing past indefinite will be past perfect suppose played will be had played past continuous will be past perfect continuous suppose was playing it will be had been playing the use of model auxiliary verb if you find this model auxiliary in the direct speech then it will be changed in such a way in the indirect speech suppose shall will be should will would be would can could may might must had to or to or to need needed you should keep in mind that model auxiliary is in the past form suppose should would could might had to used to it will they will remain unchanged now i would like to discuss the how can we change the sentences we know especially two types of uh, items will be changed suppose what should we change in the place of say to the that the speech reporting verb and what should we change especially comma or inverted comma types of sentence it's the assertive sentence i we know that this sentence is to especially subject and verb in the place say to we have to use told inverted comma you will use that interrogative sentence if a interrogative sentence starts with auxiliary verb you have to place asked and in inverted comma you have to place is if othoba uh, whether if interrogative sentence starts with wh word you have to place asked in the place of said to and inverted comma you have to use wh word and the rest of the sentence will be assertive sentence as like if imperative sentence we know imperative sentence starts especially with the verb don't never or always according to the meaning you have to change said to order forbade advised and in, in inverted comma you have to use to and the rest of the verb will be start from the verb if in if imperative sentence starts with always uh, late plus noun or pronoun you have to use told in the place of said to and you have to use that in the place of comma or inverted comma and the rest of the sentence will be subject plus might or might be alloyed to plus verb if imperative sentence starts with let's or let us we have to use proposed or purpose to if we find object in the reporting verb then we have to use proposed to if we don't find object we have to use only proposed and in inverted or comma you have to use that and you should keep in mind that after subject you must use should and then the verb if the sentence is operative sentence that means when the sentence starts with me or long leave you have to use wished or prayed in the place of said to and that plus subject plus might plus verb will be used in the place of inverted comma if the sentence is exclamatory and it starts with interjection you have to use exclaimed with sorrow joy or regret according to the meaning in the place of said to and you have to use that in the place of comma or inverted comma and if the sentence starts with uh, what or how then you have to use exclaimed with wonder and you must use that plus subject plus great or very in the place of inverted comma or the rest of the sentence if the sentence denotes wishing you have to use wished in the place of said to but in the inverted comma you should not use any linkers if the sentence denotes bidding you have to use bait in the place of said to in the same case in better comma you have you should not use any word thanks this sentence starts or denotes thanks you have to use thank in the place of said to no linker will be used congratulations you have to use congratulated in the place of said to no linkers will be used in the same case if the starts welcoming you have to use welcome in the place of said to no linker should be used also here 
So now I would like to discuss some rules on passage narration. Step 1. At first you have to find your subject and object from the passage. That means who is the speaker and who is the listener. Step 2. You have to place the reporting verb at the very beginning though it is found in the middle or the last. That means if reporting verb is found in the middle part or the last part of the sentence, we have to take it at the very beginning of the sentence. Step 3. In case of two or more than two speeches of the same speaker, then you have to use in assertive sentence, also say it, further say it, again say it. And for interrogative sentence, you should use also asked, further asked, again asked. Step 4. If the reported speeches of the same speaker are of different sentence, reporting verb should be used each time. Step 5. If the first and second sentence of the same speaker show reason, then as or since or because should be used as linkers between these two sentences. Step 6. If you find yes or no plus sentence in the uh, sentence report in the report in the direct speech you have to use replied in the affirmative or replay in the negative and said that plus rest of the sentence step seven if you you find should or to had better in the sentence as an advice reporting verb will be advised if vocative case is used as an unknown person then use addressing as plus vocative case and if the vocative case is used as a known person, then it will be object of reporting verb. Suppose, if the vocative case is known, then you have to use it as an object. But the vocative case is unknown to you, then you should use addressing as plus vocative case and then rest of the sentence. Step 10. If subject and object remain hidden, subject will be the speaker and object will be the person spoken to or the listeners. Step 11. If cried, muttered, replied, asked and shouted are used as reporting verb, they will remain unchanged in the indirect speech. You cannot change reporting verb. You have to take those words. Step 12. If there are extra words after or before reporting verb, it is better to place them at the beginning before reporting verb. Step 13. If sir or madam, who are real teacher, is used as vocative case, respectfully or with respect has to be used. On the other hand, if sir or madam, they are not real teacher, they are just show honor. So you, we have to use addressing as sir or madam. So now let's practice a passage narration. I have just placed a simple passage narration to give you the light of the passage narration. How we can make any passage narration direct sentence in indirect sentence. Okay, I'm starting. Being angered with the students, Mr. Ajomali, the honorable insurers of AK school and college, said, Why have we entered the classroom with that wearing face mask? They said, Sir, we are sorry. We have forgotten to wear mask. Forgive us today. He said, The infection of coronavirus is increasing day by day. You should wear mask everywhere. We always follow your advice. Thank you, my dear students, said he. If you want to change this direct narration into indirect narration, we have to follow the rules I have discussed before. Here, being angered with the students is an extra part except reporting verb. Here is the subject. Mr. Azumali, the honorable in charge of A.K. Suland College, is the subject. And the students are listeners here so if you look there is a reporting verb said and the object is the students so there is next inverted comma you will find 
Why have you entered the classroom without wearing face mask? It's an interrogative sentence. And this sentence starts with WS word why. So what should we do? We should use said in the place of asked. And, and then comma in verb comma will be deducted. And WH word why will come at first. And that sentence, the rest of the sentence will be like assertive sentence. Suppose why they had entered the classroom without wearing face mask. Here we have used had in the place of have. And the next, they said, sir, we are sorry. We have forgotten to wear mask. Forgive us today. Here the, here the students have used three sentences. Sir, we are sorry. It's a vocative case. And then we have forgotten to wear masks. It's an assertive sentence. Forgive us today. It's an imperative sentence. So what should we do? We should use, if you find sorry, we should use what? In the place of apologized. Apologized. So the students apologized respectfully for sir. And say that we have forgotten will be they had forgotten to wear mask. And the next sentence is, forgive us today. Though there is no please, but we can come to know that they have just placed request to the sir. So that's why we can say they also requested him. And if the, and the sentence is imperative, it starts with the verb. So we should use only to in the place of comma or inverted comma. And the rest of the part will be same. Forgive us, as will be them. To forgive them, today will be that day. He said, the infection of coronavirus is increasing day by day. You should wear masks everywhere. So, sir, that means he said, he has used two sentences here. The infection of coronavirus is increasing day by day, is the first one. And the second one, you should wear masks everywhere. It's a, an advice. And the first one is assertive sentence. Though second one is assertive sentence, Sar has used should to show an advice. So we can say, we can tell, he said that in better comma, in the place of better comma, we must use that. And the infection of coronavirus subject is, will be, was, increasing day by day. And therefore, reason, reason why the students should, uh, why the students should wear masks, the sir has just showed increasing day by day coronavirus. So you should wear masks everywhere. So and therefore, he advised them to, we know, if the sentence denotes advice, we should use to in the place of inverted comma. So to advise them to and then what will come where mask everywhere okay the next part we'll always follow your advice thank you my dear students said he so can you guess the students we will always follow your advice who have told this sir for the students yes i think you have guessed is the sentence of the students. We will always follow your advice. Then, hearing the previous comment from the, or the statement from the teacher, the students said, we will always follow your advice. That means, then the students said that they, we will be they. And will, would be, would. Always follow your advice will be his advice. That means Sar's advice. See, it will be his advice. Thank you, my dear students, said he. The honorable teacher said, uh, teacher gave them thanks. So how can we write this sentence? Uh, here the teacher has mentioned, my dear students. So we can say, addressing them, addressing plus person addressing them my dear students it will be his dear students 
Mr. Azumali, that means sir, thanked them. I have also men mentioned in my previous uh, topics that uh, if we find thank you, then it will be thanked in the place of said to. And then it come object. No, in, no that or linkers will be used here. So, Mr. Azumali thanked them. So, I think my dear students, you have just gathered such knowledge. If you don't understand, you have to go through this lecture again and again and I think then you will understand the topics. It will be then successful if you practice more and more and just take the lesson from this lecture. I hope all of you are healthy and hearty, safe and sound. Keep just healthy and hearty and try to practice more and more. This will help you, inshallah. Okay, no more today. See you again in the next class with the new topics. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.